Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Slick Gecko here, and uh, I'm doing a video on Photoshop and how people abuse it. Okay, this one you can clearly see the reasoning why this one's bad. You could tell right here that if you're looking at it like this from like, hold up, if you're looking at it like this from here to around here, that is a straight line but the, it curves out of the way because she obviously did something with the curvature of her body in order to, uh, you know, push it out a little bit more. So a way that she could have done this would be with a warp transform, which I doubt. Let's see how it kind of... And kind of bring all the features of the face out to make it better. And this is this is what I'm trying to do with these pictures. I'm trying to make them better, in a sense. I'm trying to make them better than they were before. As you can see, that's much more realistic when it comes to the Photoshop, because they're so much they're they're much more drawn to the face that they don't even realize the curvature of this post right here. Okay, on to the next one. This one's fairly obvious, he just didn't even blend the skin tones. For this one, I think we're gonna have to change the uh, hue and saturation. Let's see if... Uh... to that skin tone, which is right around there. And there you go. That looks better. You make them a little more wide. Everyone's gonna be in awe at how massive his phone is so that no one will even care. That's quite big. So quick and easy erasing of this just to make sure that it still looks accurate in the way that the phone looks because you want to make sure that you don't mess up that phone and there you go that, that's easily fixed i would say now let's, let's go on to the next one okay well problem is, is the scale obviously this 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 doesn't make sense here this belly button is about as big as his eyeball if you cross-reference that okay so a quick fix for this is to erase his whole entire midsection Get rid of all of that. I'm gonna outline it so you don't accidentally you know, screw anything else up. Problem is, is that he's a little wide. But so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna find uh, abs from someone that we can actually use, you know? Okay, we're going with Kevin Hart's abs. Just save that real quick. Now, what we're gonna do we are going to take the material from here and blend it into the other one. Transform it. It's kind of trying to line it up here. So I would say it's about that. And then we can just trim off the edges here. Wherever he's wearing the shirt. So, good thing to do with that. Let's bring that opacity all, all the way down. Let's bring it down a bit. Then you can visibly see what edges you need to trim off. It's perfect. And you might be thinking to yourself, Daniel, what about the proportions? This doesn't seem very proportionate. Well, turn that opacity right back up. You see, this makes more sense, and it's still skinny. So you can kind of curve it in and then bring it out. Yeah, there we go. I know what you guys are going to be saying. That doesn't make any sense. This kid's... Uh, he's orange. He's like a pinkish orange. Like a salmon color. This man's salmon. So let's, uh... Let's go into hue and saturation. Try to find that salmon. This, I would say, is right around the salmon. Turn the lightness up. Bit. Saturation. Turn up a bit more, too. Figure out the right area with it. 
And bam! Looking much better, I would say. Much better than before. Now, the last one today, we can see a very obvious... You know, that makes no sense. Even in the mirror, like, that... that that's not the same as this. It's not mirroring itself. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that. We're gonna use the lasso tool. Look, it's almost a perfect circle. And so you can see, you use simple math, it's almost one. And I would say let's see, curve. And that's like one, two, three. So it's like one a third times bigger than it actually would be. And the easiest way to actually go about this, see I tried fixing all these, and I honestly think I did the best job I could. This this makes the most sense for him. Now you, it, it definitely looks like his abs. This one, cut down to normal size. You All you really have to say is just, oh well, I accidentally uh, cut out a piece of my photo. Whoops. He... <laughs> Th this makes more sense. It actually flows, and you can tell that he has rockin' abs now, uh, equivalent to that of Kevin Hart's. Yeah, that's just the Kevin Hart thing. She her face, honestly, distracts you with its pure beauty. You can't even tell this is here anymore. So that 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 I that's a job well done if I would do say so myself. Here we are. We see uh, Trump playing tennis. You can see. He's, uh, that's a bad shot, and I don't know why he's holding a bow in his hand. Okay, that was obviously staged, but the best way to go about this is instead of going here using whatever tool, like the smudge tool, to just kind of make it like that, it just, it's kind of like, you know, you don't, instead of that, we don't want that, what you do is you go in here, and you actually highlight his whole body. And this may take a while, I know. And you may be wondering, why in the world am I even making this video right now? I... I actually... I don't even know. Okay, we're almost done here. And complete. Perfect. Okay, now, you just remove them all together from the picture. And you pop them back right in, you know, because now he's not even in the original. So you can do whatever the heck you want to him. Okay, we're going to cut it or make a copy. Put him back behind here. And then with the copy, we can do whatever we need. And it won't distort the whole thing. Look at that. Just a few simple Photoshop tricks. And Trump's looking like he's in his 30s again. Extra thick! Well, spick and spry. So, I think I did a good job fixing up all these pictures. Uh, I think that before they were atrocious, and now I think they're looking much better. You know? Much better than before. So, uh, if you guys uh, didn't give up on me throughout this video, thank you. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing right now.